In today's video, I paint skin by brush. I spend a lot of time painting green. I paint a bunch of paper sheets. And I spend one hour outlining the old figure. Hello and welcome to Modest Modeler. Recently I received this figure from Paus Miniatures as part of a painting commission. This time the figure portrays the Portuguese poet Luís de Camões. And if you want to know how to paint this figure, make sure to follow the video till the end and any questions please leave them below on the comment section. Priming the old figure with one shot black primer. Next, I apply a zenithal coat with white. The zenithal coat will serve as a guide for the lights and shadows once we start the painting process. With marine blue and phthalo green, I mix the green shadow. A small trick is to use ammo cleaner instead of the acrylic thinner. This will act a bit like a retarder and prevent the paint from drying too fast on the tip of the needle. I start with this color as the shadow of the hose, commonly referred as the pumpkin pants and the arms. I'm using my Infinity CR Plus with a 0.15 needle that allows a very fine control of the flow and around 25 psi. Something to have in mind is that the dilutions I use may not work for you because the air humidity and room temperature are two factors that influence the perfect spray. This is a controversial team and I may do a video explaining how I managed to adapt the dilutions throughout the year. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you want it. Next, using the previous color, I add some drops of tallow green and medium Russian green plus a bit of cleaner and use this mixture to work on the middle tones. Here, I start applying the color on a light face terrace having in mind the zenithal sketch I did before. This will leave the previous color on the shadow areas. a couple more drops of medium Russian green and cleaner to the middle tone. I continue to work on the white face areas, but this time reducing the area I'm painting. Remember that different types of fabric reflect light differently.
bright violet and marine blue, I mix the shadow tone for the waistcoat. I dilute a bit more than the green and lower the PSI to 20 to better control the spray and avoid already painted areas. To the shadow tone, I add light sun and start painting the highlights. Now I start with the brushwork. I use field grey as the base color for the stripes on the pumpkin pants and the balloons on the arms. Adding splinter grey in a 50-50 ratio to the base color, I paint the middle tones on the stripes, leaving the field grey as the shadow. I mix splinter grey and light sun in a 70-30 ratio to the final highlight and focus on top of the small folds. With mid grey, I paint the paper sheets. And with splinter grey, I glaze a small shadow around the arm.
time for the skin, and I know some models have difficult painting it. I was one of you until I found a recipe for European skin that I liked and looked good. I always start with burnt sand as a base for all the skin areas. Before continuing I light the skin, I paint the eyes on a figure. For this, I start with dark brown to frame the eye. Take your time, don't rush it. Any overpainting on the face can be easily corrected with burnt sand. Now, with mid grey, I paint a square and leave just a small outline of dark brown. The iris is the hardest part, especially when recording. This is the step where you will lose some minutes to get the dot where you want and may take some back and forth with mid grey to get the correct eye shape. This is the result after 5 minutes painting it off camera. Luckily this time, this figure had just one eye. Back to the skin, I mix burnt sun with warm skin tone in the 30-70 ratio and start covering around 70% of the skin, leaving the burnt sand on the shadows. Now, with warm skin tone mixed with white skin tone, in a 60-40 ratio, I increase the highlights on the nose, cheeks and forehead. Time for another trick to make the skin go from 8 to 80. Get burnt brown red and violet and dilute each to almost a transparent glaze. I glaze the burnt brown red on the shadow areas to get the pinkish tone of white skin. I deepen the shadows around the hair, beard and below the cheeks by glazing violet. I paint the hair and beard with dark brown off camera to help with the glazing process. To highlight the hair, I add warm skin tone to dark brown and progressively increase the amount of warm skin every couple strokes and reducing the painting area. The belts are similar in color to the hair, so I painted the base color of camera. The only change in the technique is to stipple dotting instead of brush strokes.
break the evenness of the waistcoat, I go back to the covers I used and steep all the lights and shadows to get some texture. The last step to tie everything together is to outline the edges. I use black in a wash consistency and carefully paint between sharp color transitions. And it's all for today, dear modelers. I hope you like, and don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are not. I also have a Patreon page where I share exclusive content, and right now you can see the progress on the iWing I'm working on for the next video series here on YouTube. I see you on the next video, and until then, make sure to keep your workbench busy!